Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the result of Scott Selections here for Thursday, December 3rd. Now, we already recapped what we did for the play that I yesterday uh, in the previous video. So if, you've not checked that, if you have not checked that out, you can do so. It should be the video right before this one. But I mentioned in that video, we are going to be doing a second play that I video, which I said, if I like multiple games on a card, I will be making multiple videos from now on. So for that reason, we're gonna be looking at a college football matchup here taking place between Air Force and Utah State. And for this play of the day, we're gonna be looking at a team total and right now we're going to be taking Utah State team total under 19.5. It's available on DraftKings at minus 108, a time recording of 2.55 a.m. Eastern time. A couple reasons why I like the under for the team total for Utah State. First of all, Utah State, not very good offensively. This team has gone over 19.5 once so far this season, and they are atrocious offensively. If you look at all their numbers, they are towards the bottom end of all of college football in pretty much every single metric, this team just cannot move the ball on a regular basis. They were able to move the ball last week. They're one and four overall, though. And if you look at all their numbers besides last week against New Mexico, they've gone under 19 half in every single game. They've gone under 17 in all four of those previous games. Now, last week against New Mexico, they looked pretty good, scored 41 points. It is worth mentioning, though, that New Mexico has an atrocious defense. They're 0 and 5, one of the worst teams in the country. And they're also allowing over 300 passing yards per game, which is important because of the fact that Utah State did switch coaches and switch starting quarterbacks. So some people might be thinking that Utah State might, uh, has kind of shown signs of life. I think it's more of a testament to how bad New Mexico is. I really don't think highly of this Utah State team at all. And I do think that Air Force is definitely a step up in competition in comparison to, U, uh, to New Mexico. And I think that Utah State will struggle as a result. Main reasons why, Air, Air Force, of course, is known for the triple option rushing attack. They're currently averaging 306, uh, 336.5 rushing yards per game, which is the most in the entire nation where Utah State is allowing 202.8 rushing yards, which is 101st in the country. Now, the reasons why I bring that up is because of the fact that Air Force, of course, since they love to run the ball, is also dominant in time possession, as they are currently 10th in all of college football in time possession. So I do expect Air Force to have the ball a lot. I think you're going to see a ton of running clock, Air Force sustaining long drives, a bunch of 15-play drives for seven, eight minutes at a time. You're going to see a lot of clock running off. And that's a serious problem for Utah State, whose offense is already underwhelming, and now they're going to have less possessions to work with and less time to work with. Plus, it is worth mentioning that Utah State's leading rusher, Jalen Warren, opted out of the season a couple of days ago. So Utah State, in addition to having now a, an interim head coach, a backup quarterback, now they have a backup running back, and they're facing off against a team that loves to run the ball all the time and to eat up all the clock. I think Air Force should have the ball for probably around – I'd say 40 minutes in this game. It could get really ugly. You might have a couple of fast scores by Air Force, but assuming that you are going to be seeing Air Force's classic four yards of play, five yards of play, once again, 15 play, 75 yard drives, Utah State might only have the ball for about 20 minutes. And I don't think that this team is good enough offensively to put up 20 plus points, especially after Air Force was able to shut out New Mexico in his last game. So Air Force's defense has looked sharp at times this season. They have had some issues against some bigger teams like uh, Boise State, for example. Boise State's arguably the best team in the entire conference. So now that they phase off against Utah State, I think they will be able to handle it. I think Air Force will give up probably somewhere in the realm of 13 points, and this game will be pretty ugly. But I do think that Air Force, based on their rushing attack, Utah State's terrible rush defense, and the fact that they're leading, Utah State's leading rusher opted out and that they're using a backup quarterback, et cetera, I do think will lead to some serious offensive issues for Utah State. So for that reason, I think that they're, this market's a little bit overvaluing Utah State's offense because of what happened last week. And I think that's more of an anomaly. So the play that I once again here for Thursday, December 3rd, is going to be on Utah State under on the team total, 19 and a half. It's available on draft. He's minus 108. It's on recording of two of 2.58 Eastern time, a.m. But that's been the Stomach Scott Selections. Good luck to all of you and your respective best today. Bye, everyone.